Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big and win big every single week, no matter what sport you wish to bet on. But right now, we're focusing on the Major League Baseball playoffs. The wild card uh, results are in, and actually, we did very well with our predictions using, using our simulator. If you take a look at the simulator results here, you can see here that we picked Washington to beat uh, Milwaukee 75% to 25%, and they did. Look at this. We had the Rays 80% chance of beating the A's, and they did win it. One, they did win the game. And we did the simulation at the average level, upset level, and you can do it no matter what kind of upset level you wish to, to put on there. So that's one thing I wanted to point out to you. Now, let's take a look at the matchups for the divisional rounds. First of all, we will go up to the top here, and we will start with Tampa Bay and Houston. Tampa Bay, you see, average up at the moment, and they have won four out of their last six. Houston is burning hot. They have won four out of their last six as well. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will notice that Houston has a plus 27 to plus 24 edge there. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups for the season, surprisingly, maybe in a little bit of a way, uh, Tampa Bay won four out of the six meetings between the two teams. If you take a look now at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over-under for games in this series, you will see that uh, Tampa Bay is playing in games trending over. Houston is playing in games trending under, so it's probably best to avoid the over-under in games in this series. If you take at the volatility oscillator, to see how stable the two teams are. Both teams are really pretty stable. Houston is extremely stable at plus 57. And then there's Tampa Bay at plus 35. It means that both teams are performing pretty consistently according to their favorite underdog status. Taking a look uh, in a little bit more depth here as far as the statistics go, you will see that um, Tampa Bay was tops in the league in ERA in the American League at 3.65. Houston was second at 3.66, so nearly a deadlock. But Houston averaged a whole run more per game at 5.7 compared to 4.7 for Tampa Bay. Also, Houston was 60 and 21 at home. Now, Tampa Bay was solid on the road at 48 and 33. Also, the same at home, 48 and 33. Houston won 107 games, best in the major leagues. Tampa Bay's good, very good, but Houston is almost unbeatable at home. And being that there's there's four out of the seven games in Houston, you got to lean towards Houston and probably win this series in five or six games. Let's look at the Cardinals and the Braves. The Cardinals are ice cold up at the moment. You look at what they have done. They have, there you go. They have only won two out of their last six. Atlanta, dead status at the moment, and they have not played well either lately. They have lost five out of their last six games. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups for the regular season, you will see that Atlanta did win four out of the six meetings between the two teams. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, how stable are the two teams? Well, the Braves are much more stable at plus 33 compared to plus 5. So take the uh, favorite underdog status with a grain of salt when considering the Cardinals because they are very inconsistent according to how that goes. Sometimes they're winning as underdogs. Sometimes they're, they're losing as predicted. So let's take that with a grain of salt. If you're considering the over-under in games in this series, you see that St. Louis is playing in games trending over. The Braves are playing in games trending under, so probably best to avoid the over-under in games in this series. Well, how did they do it in the regular season offensively and wins and losses at home? Well, let's take a look at that as well. Uh, the Cardinals were second at 3.82 ERA. The Braves were fourth at 4.18 ERA. The Braves had a better offense, scoring 5.3 runs per game compared to the Cardinals' 4.7. The Cardinals were only a game over 500 on the road, and that could be a big factor in this series. The Braves were very solid at home, winning 50 and losing 31. Because the Braves have the home field, and the Cardinals, not very good on the road. you got to lean towards the Braves to win this series. I will pick them in six or seven games. Let's look at the Twins and the Yankees now. The Twins, burning hot down at the moment, winning five out of their last six. The Yankees won just two out of their last six, heading into the playoffs. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups for the season, you will see right here that the Yankees have won the last two, and then they alternated wins in the other four game so the Yankees actually won the season series against the Twins 
The power rankings indicator shows you that the Twins have been very steady over the past week or so, almost two weeks, at plus uh, 28. The Yankees are at plus 25. Looking at the over and under, well, let's take a look here. Minnesota is trending in games playing, uh, trending under in the games that they are playing in. The Yankees also trending under, so this is a perfect opportunity to pick the under in games in this series. Although both teams are very high on offense, under might be the way to go. Um, they're both averaging nearly six runs per game, nearly even 5.9 for the Yankees and 5.8 for Minnesota. They're also very even in ERA, fifth and sixth in the league in ERA at 4.18 for Minnesota and 4.31 for the Yankees. They're very even almost all across the board. Uh, the Yankees have won 57 at home. The Twins 56, excuse me, 55. The Twins 46 wins on the road. The Yankees 46 wins on the road. <laughs> Nearly dead even. This could be a very, very, very good series. The Yankees are at home. You might think that would give them the advantage, but I'm going to go for the little bit of an upset here. I think that the Twins will take this. They will win a Game 7 in New York to take the series. Now let's look at the final one. we got Washington and Los Angeles. Washington burning hot, winners of their last six. The Dodgers burning hot, winners of their last six. Something's got to give, right? Well, let's take a look at some other things here. The power rankings indicator. Well, you see the Dodgers at plus 29. Washington on the rise. They are at plus 27. So very even here. How about head-to-head -head throughout the regular season? Washington won the last one. The Dodgers won three in a row before that. And then Washington won one. The Dodgers won one. So the Dodgers took four out of six during the regular season. Considering the over and under, well, Washington is playing in games trending over. And so are the Dodgers. So very good indication to pick the over in games in this series. How stable are the two teams? Now let's take a look at that as well. The Dodgers at plus 52 stability. The Nationals at plus 35. Both teams are playing very stable ball, which means they're performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status. So now let's take a look finally, like I always want to do here, at the offensive and defensive statistics and home road records. In this case here, the Dodgers are 59-22 and 22 at home and 47-34 and on the road. Washington is 150 at home, but only 5 over 543 and 38 on the road. The Dodgers are first in the National League with a 3.39 ERA. Washington is eighth at 4.21. And both teams are scoring close to five and a half runs per game. The big key here is the Dodgers are very, very tough at home. Again, the home field is going to play a big part in this series as well. There's, it's hard to see the Dodgers losing a seven-game series with four games in Los Angeles. So despite the Nationals being on a roll, the Dodgers are also. So pick the Dodgers to win in a six or most likely seven game series to advance to the NLCS. Now, before we go here, I want you to take a look at the uh, new contest that we have out here. The Z Code Meter Cash Contest is back. So just take a look at this, Z Code Meter Cash Contest. It says your new round is live. This time we're going to have a long battle for a massive prize. So take a look at this, a new iPhone is up for grabs. So if you just take a look at this and you see that there's a great new contest here, make sure you uh, take a look at that and enter the contest. And remember, if you're not already a member, please join up and you will have access to all these great tools to make your picks, not just this week, but every week throughout the season, no matter what sport you take part in. Okay, so there you have it. Enjoy the, the games for this weekend and we will see you next week. Happy betting.